in this video we are going to discuss about functions in python before that let's take some list here i have to say uh, measure something here in this video series i have not explained about uh, list uh, yet right but uh, for now just consider uh, this as a python list i will be discuss about it in uh, next videos right uh, before that i need to discuss about these functions because we need functions to uh, discuss about uh, list tuples uh, dictionaries and uh, other things uh, i mean list tuples dictionaries and sets right yeah for it okay now let's take this one as a list for six Now, you need to get length of this list. You have to give len of brackets, right? First time running this one. Then let me to run second one. You can see we got our length of list as six. It's correct now. We have six elements here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not indexing, right? Index it means means another thing, right? If we uh, talk about indexes, those are zeroth, one, uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, right? It's another thing. Here we are going to get only length, right? Okay. If we need to get some of this. Uh, all elements you have to give some a i'm running some of these all elements is 42 right and next thing if you need to get minimum value you have to give it in this way we got it and same as if you need to get maximum value uh, you can get it in this way, right? Okay, here we talk, uh, talk about few functions. Those functions called Python based functions, right? Uh, that means we can use these functions for lists and tuples as well. But now I'm going to discuss about some. functions that are only usable for list right that means we can't use those functions in uh, for tuples right so let me to uh, give some example right okay let's say uh, let me to copy it again Say if you need to add some element to this place, right? According to the uh, this pattern, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and next uh, element should be 14. No? So if you need to add that 14 into here, you have to give a dot pen function. Pen function, right? have to you are going to append 14 right so in this code python will understand yes i need to add 14 at the last i mean uh, next to the last element of this list right so let me to run it i'm running i ran it now we have to check whether it's added or not right just give a and run you can see in our list we have 14 as the last element right so and if you need to add a few values here let's say now our a value is this one right not this one now our a value is this one right if you uh, 
can't get it. Uh, let me do write it. Okay. A equal, now our A equal to this one, right? Because we A we to Python, right? A dot of N means. Anyway, now I'm running it. If you need to add n, few values next to this last element, that means uh, let's say if we need, uh, need to add uh, 16, 18 and 20, let's say we need to add three of values, right? How to do that? We can't do it using append. Uh, if you use append, you can only add one value uh, for the last place, right? If you need to add few values, you have to use extend function. That means you have to give a dot extend. Here you have to give set of brackets again you square brackets and now give your uh, three of elements right I'm going to give 16 18 and 20 right let me run it okay, now let's check what is our new a and see our previous a was this part and now 16 18 and 20 added into as last elements right so what is next mm, yeah let's say uh, now our a list is this one right so let me to write down it otherwise uh, you will not get it this is our new list named a right we no need to run it again because we already give it here but uh, okay it's moving forward now if you need to add some extra value for some place right that means you have to decide its index right that means you know this is our zeroth index this one is our first index second index third index right let's say if you need to add uh, some hundred value for this place that means your hundred value will be 0, 1, 2 and third value right according to the indexes right so you have to give a code in this way that means a dot insert inside of brackets you have to give index and value right that means I need to add, I mean, I need to insert this 100 value as third index, right? First index is 2, sorry, zeroth index is 2, uh, first index is 4, second index is 6, and then third index will be 100, right? So, here I am running this one. Now let me to check what is our next uh, new A. You can see our third index has replaced, I mean, uh, 100 inserted as our third index, right? So, what is next? okay now let's discuss about how to remove remove one value right okay now our new uh, list is this one our new list is this one right? let's say uh, if you need to remove this hundred value how to do it just give l dot sorry a dot 
remove function inside of brackets you have to use what is the value that you are going to remove i'm going to remove this 100 value so just give it i'm running it now let me to check our new a by uh type in a and running you can see 100 value has been removed right so what is name mm. yeah we have some function to sort our list that means let's say you have some uh, new list in this way right you have a new list 2 8 5 7 6 4 in this way right if you need to sort this into uh, accent in order right how to do it just give b dot sort function right here you have to just give uh, two of brackets and let me to run it now let's check our b sorry we uh, i forgot to run this one right i ra ran it now now let's run it again right now it's okay uh, i'm checking my b value you can see our previous B list has uh, now it's in some order, right? I mean, uh, it's in ac accent in order, right? So, how, uh, how should we need to uh, take this list as discant in order? Yes. Here we have to give L dot uh, sorry, B dot sort function, but we have to give reverse equal true part inside of bracket right let me to explain about it let's say you have uh, your b value again i am getting uh, our previous list again right b run now i ran this one i ran this one so our b list is this one right so i need to uh, take this list as a uh, discant in order right how to do it just give b dot sort inside of brackets you have to give reverse equal true reverse equal true right now let me to run it let's check our new b list you can see our elements are in discant in order right so what's next okay uh, let me to give another mc here i have same values uh, in different places right 8 5 8 9 5 5 9 8 4 2 6, 7, right now if you need to get how many 8s are in this list right how many 8s are in this list that means you have to count 8s now so just give c dot count function right here i need to count eight value so inside of bracket you have to do eight right I'm running it uh, first time running this one and then this one right okay you can see we got we have eight element three times right the count of element 8 is 3 right so if you need to get an index of some value 
let's say if you need to get index of this four value right uh, if we get it manually 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it it's in eighth index right so how to get it uh, using code just give c dot index you are going to get index of this four uh, number four so just give it inside of bracket and run you can see we got our index as eight right it's in eighth index what happened if you give c dot index five you can see there are several files here one two and three so python will give you first your first files index right that means this files index you know this files index is 0 1 right so we should have our output as 1 right let's check it c dot index yeah i am giving my value as 5 let's run it you can see we got our index as 1 right okay okay guys that's what i need to discuss in this video under the functions right so thanks for watching we will meet in our next video right